Creating a safe tensor file from your CKPT files has never been easier and I'm going to show you how step by step. So the problem I encountered, I have a lot of really cool models, however they're not the format that a lot of people like using nowadays, which is like the safe tensors and they have a whole different plethora of ones now, but the CKPT ones are now currently kind of old. But Diffusion B uses those still and I love it and that's why I made those things for them so I can use. But to convert it so other users can use it and feel safe about it. All you have to do is go to your download file for your model for my example here and you'd right click. You say copy link address. You're going to go to the link I provided you here and it's going to lead you to this little website. And we're going to scroll down. So follow, follow all the steps here. You're going to delete. First you're going to click the delete all. So clear out everything there. You're going to want to make sure you log into a hugging face. If you don't have a hugging face account, it's free to sign up. Make one of those. You do come back here. So hit the little button to delete all, scroll down towards the bottom. We're gonna look for one that says CKPT to safe tensors. We're gonna paste that file that we had. So remember, we're right clicking, copy link address, go back, paste that file in here, and then hit download CKPT. So what that's gonna do is gonna do what it says. It's going to download it from wherever you have it saved. So mine's from Civit AI. It's going to download it into here. You'll see a little screen pop up saying, oh, now it's downloaded. Next, you're going to paste the title of what it's called. So mine's page pencil. So I, I copy that into here. The next, we're going to say convert to safe tensors. And again, it's going to tell you what's happening to the right of that. You're going to go down the row basically, right? So download it first. Boom. Title it. Convert to safe tensor. Boom, it's gonna do that. The next, you're gonna to wanna to put your hugging face name that you created for your account. So I just made one that's brush pen bob. So I'm gonna put that in there and you're gonna add a little slash and then whatever the name of your file was, uh, you know, so mine or your model was. So mine's a, a beige pencil, so I put beige pencil. Then we can say push safe tensors to hugging face. Before we do that though, we need to make a unique token. So that's where we go into hugging face. So that's where we go in the hugging face. And then under settings, so you're gonna click on your little account, settings. And then you'll see another screen pop up. It's gonna say access tokens. We're gonna click on that. And we'll make a brand new token. Doesn't matter what you call it. Just so you can remember what it is. Make sure you make it into write mode and then hit generate token. So next, we're gonna copy that token that we just made, right? And you'd paste it into your token here. So I'm just gonna type whatever, but you'd paste your token there, and then you press push safe, safe tensors to hugging face. That's what this little thing is. And in your hugging face account now, if you click on your profile, and it'll, it'll show you whatever you have uploaded, but within a couple minutes, the, the safe tensor version that you just generated, or whatever version that you're making, should pop up here. So now I, if I click on mine, I'm still uploading stuff right now, so I won't have too much stuff right now, but under the files, you'll see the safe tensor model is now available. So that's how you create a safe tensor from your CKPT files. And I haven't played around with the other, ver the other options here, but you can convert it to these different things. So you can make it into a uh, PyTorch, you can make a CKPT to a diffusers safe tensor, so on and so forth. So you have all these options you can make it into and all you need is a hugging face account and then you're off and running. Hopefully this was helpful for y'all because I couldn't find any videos that did all this. So please, please, if you could like, subscribe, leave a comment, comment below what you'd like to see me cover next and I'll talk to y'all soon.